Good morning, Lakeside Longhorns, and happy Thursday, April 7th, 2022. It is a thrilling Thursday here. I am excited to see some animals today. I hope you guys are too. Uh, we have one birthday today on this thrilling Thursday, April 7th, which is Omisha in 2C. So happy birthday, Omisha. Remember, come on down to the office after announcements and we will celebrate with you. Like I said, it's an exciting day, exciting week. We do have some animals today. We have fairy tale ball tomorrow for our kinder friends so lots of exciting things without further ado i do have a joke today and i feel like it's very fitting all right um why did the puppy get great grades in class well because he was the teacher's pet get it the puppy is belongs to the teacher teacher's pet does a great job anyway you guys know i love my jokes I do hope you guys enjoy today uh, and enjoy the rest of this week. It is Friday Eve, so Thursday. Have a good one. Remember, I'll see you on the flip side. Learn with your head, lead with your heart. Bye. Good morning, Longhorns. It's time for Thinking Thursday, and since a lot of people have been into fantasy lately, and kindergarten in particular has been excited about fairy tales, I thought today we would do some visual thinking and puzzle, puzzle solving and problem solving that has to do with um, the fantasy genre, fairy tale genre. So take a look at this challenge with me. It says, step into the pages of Fairy Tale Kingdom. The castle is being attacked by dragons. Each one threatens to set fire to the castle if its puzzle could not be solved. It is up to you to save the castle. Are you up for the challenge, Longhorns? Let's take a peek at the challenge. These are called Futushiki puzzles, and they're like a Sudoku puzzle in that you want to play so that the numbers that you're given are only used one time in a row and one time in a column. So that's an important thing that you need to know. Let me get this out of the way so we can get started. I'm gonna do this first one for you or with you. The solution is hanging out over here, so we'll check it in just a few minutes. I have the digits one, two, three, four that I would like to play into this puzzle. And you can see that's what is different about Fudoshiki puzzles is that they also include greater than and less than. Can you see the symbols? So where you put the numbers in the rows and columns have to also take into account numbers that are greater than or less than other numbers. Um, since I've already got a three in this row, I can only use the four or two a one in this top row over here. And I've already got a one in this column, so I know I can't put the one right there. And I don't need a three in this row because I've already got one. Um, and I need this greater than sign, so something has got to be greater than something else. I could either say two is greater than one, or four is greater than two, I, or four is greater than one. I think I'm just going to start with putting four here in this corner, and then I'll do two is greater than one to finish off that row, and we'll just see how that works out. So I've got each one of the digits in this top row. Now let's go down. I've got a four and a one already, so I only need a two and a three in this one. And this, even though it's turned sideways, this is gonna be something is less than something else. This number is smaller than this number. So I would have to put it in which order, Longhorns? That's right, two is less than three. I feel pretty good about this row, assuming that this four is correct. So now I can go ahead and try another row. I think I will start on this row next. I need a two already. So I've got a four, a three, and a one I have to place. And there's another one of those greater than less than signs. That's saying this number is greater than this number. I've already got a three down here. So I can't play a three in this row. The three would have to go here or here. And I've already got a four in this row. So I need to definitely have a four over here in this row. So I need something that's bigger than something. Let's see, if the three's gotta go, can't go here, then what if I put four here and said four is greater than three? Do you guys feel good about that? I like it, we'll see if it works, and then that means my one could go down here. Are you okay with that? If I've already got a three and a one here, we might as well finish this off. This is a less than sign. Something that we put here has gotta be less than this, and I only have a two and a four left to play in this row. Which one's less than the other one? 
Yep, that's right. I'm gonna have to put the two in this one and I'll have to put the four over in this corner. Hey, it's starting to come together. Things are looking pretty good so far. Um, I've already got a two in this row, a two in this row. I have a two in this top row. I do not have a two in this row. So that means I've got to play a two in this row. Um, and I need a three in this row. And, oh, and look, three is already here, and three is already here, and three is already here. That must mean my three in this row is going to have to go right there, which means, oh, one, two, three. What am I gonna have to put in this empty spot? What am I missing in that column? Yep, that's gonna have to be a four. And now I've got a two and a three, I mean a two and a one left to play. This row needs a what in this row? Yep, it's going to need a two. Let's take a look and see if that works there. No, well, so far. And then that means my one would go here. Let's see. Two is greater than one. Four is greater than three. Two is less than three. Two is less than four. I only have one of each digit in each one of my columns. My rows look okay. All right, I'm going to check the solution now. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna pull this over here so I can make it larger. I grab that corner and make it big. Let's check our answers. Four, two, one, three, one, four, three, two, two, three, four, one, three, one, two, four. Hey, we did it, Longhorns. That was our first Fudashiki puzzle that we solved together. And you know what? The kingdom thanks us. Happy to be of service. And they all lived happily ever after. If you liked these Fudoshiki puzzles, I have a surprise for you. There are lots more in this Jamboard that we've been working on. Hey, look at that. There are five columns and five rows this time. Ooh, look at that one. I see lots more greater than and less than signs in this one. And we've got up to five digits now. Uh-oh, even more. And look at that. Now we've got up to six digits. And even more, Fudoshiki puzzles can challenge all of us, even some of our older elementary kiddos. You fifth graders and fourth graders can get into this as well. There are lots of challenges. I'm gonna send your teacher a link to this Jamboard and maybe you can pull it up and try a Fudoshiki puzzle sometime in your classroom and enjoy a little bit of fantasy or fairy tale in your classroom this week. This has been another good idea for some really great thinking and lots of puzzle solving fun with Mrs. Warren. Have a wonderful rest of your week, Longhorns. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all now the pledge to the texas flag honor the texas flag i pledge allegiance to thee texas one state under god one and indivisible please remain standing for the moment of silence We will now say the Lakeside Pledge. I am respectful to others. I am responsible for self. I am honest and kind. I will take initiative and persevere. Follow us. We are Lakeside Longhorns.